Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another spell for you guys. Now, this is something that has been, sorry about that. This has been something that has been highly requested. Um, and since I figured I'm actually doing this for two different clients, I figured I would do it on, uh, on video so you guys can see and it can help you as well. Now this uh, spell, it is uh, specifically for protection, not just of your person in the physical aspect, but as well as protection for the home. Now, for those of you guys that are, uh, that are practitioners or do spell work or dabble in spell work, um, or uh, you're aware of people that are around you that perhaps practice, this is ideal for you. Now, this brings protection to the home, but this also brings protection to everyone that lives in the home. And it keeps away from any type of witchcraft as well as when people go, as an example, to uh, you know a tarot reader like myself and you want to know about a specific person um, or you know nosy people wanting to know about you, basically, this is almost like a veil. Uh, that serves as a protection so they won't be able to see clearly or concisely what's going on in your life. So it's almost, uh, like I said, it's a veil of protection for you and everyone in your home, but it also serves uh, for those that are trying to look into their life or how they're living or etc. cetera. Uh, this will definitely bring that type of protection and almost a seal uh, so people won't be able to look uh, or see how things are going in your life or that in your home life. So anyways, this is a, a very rather simplistic. It is a ritual itself because you do have to make sure to ritualize it and consecrate it. Uh, but other than that, it's very, very easy to do and very effective. Now, what you're going to be needing is obviously we're going to be needing some sage. As you guys can see here, we've already burned sage. Um, I wanted to skip that uh, part so I could try to make the video as short as possible. Um, but anyways, you're going to be needing some sage to sage the space you're going to be working in uh, to make sure to remove any negative or negative, heavy negative excess energy. Uh, you want to uh, be centered, okay? So be grounded when doing this spell work. Um, keep in mind that garlic has been known uh, for especially for us that practice whenever we're at war with other santeras or with other uh, witches uh, this is something that you will usually see at our door um, and it's usually a, a bigger crown um, but these you know you will see uh, for those of you guys that have came to uh, my home you know um, when you've come to consultations you I'm sure you've seen these around um, and again, it is to protect yourself as well as everyone in your home. All right, so I'm going to take you guys step by step what you're going to be needing. Like I said, you're going to be needing some sage just to cleanse the area. You're also going to be needing a puro, um, a cigar. Now, depending on what deity you work with or depending on the practice that you do, that's more or less the lines. If you don't work with a specific santo, then what you would do is you can also cleanse it with sage. Now for us, as you guys can see here, here I have the candle of my Saint Simon that I'm already, um, have already been burning and obviously I work with him. So I'm going to be using the cigar as that is a very prominent tool to work with him. Uh, it is also cigars are very powerful in regards to banishing or cleansing or even opening portals and that's exactly what we're going to be doing so again you would be needing a cigar if you don't work with a specific saint then you always have the option of just cleansing uh, with either sage or uh, any type of incense that resonates with you um, so anyways you're also going to be needing uh, garlic now these you can get anywhere you can get these at stater brothers you can get them at um you know el super you can basically any market um and you're gonna need one okay you're gonna need one of these now i have two here because i'm gonna be doing for two clients but again you're gonna be needing one okay now if you want to use uh let's say if you want to do four because you want to put one at the entrance 
one by your window, one in the back of the door, then you always have that option, okay? Now you're also going to be needing some safety pins. Safety pins, you will probably only need one as this is what we attach to the back of it so you can be able to hang it, um, so you can be able to hang it basically. Now you're also going to be needing some type of, some type of um, liston, um, so this is, the, you can use any type of like ribbon, anything that basically you can use to tie, um, ideally using it, ideally using it uh, in correlation with uh, what you're trying to do. So as an example, if you're trying to use this just for protection, then you would use a red ribbon. If you're going to be using uh, for protection as well as protection against backlash of magic if you yourself practice then you would be using a black as well for money you would use green etc you get it okay you're also going to be needing some of these i'm not sure what they're called in english um but what we're going to do is basically you're going to be writing down certain things that you're wanting the garlics to work for so what i mean by that is part of spell work or part of witchcraft is not just using the herbs or the ingredients but it's also telling them exactly what it is that you want them to do so i asked uh, my client to write down a few things that they're trying to bring towards them um, and that's what we're going to be introducing in the garlic with these tabs here okay now you can use parchment paper, ideally use parchment paper, but you can also use white paper. Okay, so that's why I have these just as an example. Now you're also going to be using some type of holy water. It can be holy water, it could be consecrated water, it can be ritualized water, it could be moon water, anything that is sacred uh, and that has been ritualized. So. For us, it's easier just to go to church and get some holy water. Um, so we're going to be using that and a mixture of other, um, a mixture of the holy water with some Florida water, as well as um, some other oils that I integrate in uh, this specific, uh, this specific um waters uh, so that they can give the full effect for my client and not only bring protection but also bring to them uh, opportunities and abundance and success for everyone in the home everyone that lives in the home now you're also going to be using a marker if you're going to be making petitions or if you're wanting um, the garlics to do a specific task like that of bringing to you opportunity success etc and keep envy away and all of that uh, you're going to be writing those down in the parchment papers okay all right now this is again it depends who you work with it depends what you're doing um if you're going to be working as an example if you're not a practitioner but you are trying to do this to protect your home and to protect everyone in your home sorry about that you guys let me just turn this off really quick i'm not sure why they keep okay um so yeah like i was saying um if you are just you know a regular person that is trying to do this to protect your home and everyone in your home um then ideally, uh, as an example, if you have a candle with the image of, you know, of Jesus, of uh, the Virgin Mary, whatever it is that you believe in, then you can be burning that. Um, so like I said, because I am working with my saint, I have his favorite tequila here, which is Patron. And I'm going to be pouring him a shot of his uh, favorite tequila. And the reason for that is again, because I am working with him, so I'm going to be charging these um, through him, okay? All right, so once that is done and once we're pretty much ready to go and you've written down exactly what it is that you want, what we're gonna do now is we're going to get the garlic, okay? There's no need to rip this. There's no need. We're actually going to be using this whole 
um, this whole little little bundle here. So what we're going to do is we are going to get, give me one second. Okay, so what you're going to do is if you're using the red, um, the red uh, ribbon, then you're going to be uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to tie seven knots. Okay, so where's one, two, three, four. five, six, seven. Now seven is a very powerful number and the reason why we're using seven is for higher protection, okay? All right, so once we do that, what we're gonna do now is, and as you guys can see here, I will be using red, but I haven't started with red only because uh, she definitely does want to keep witchcraft away from her home um, only because there is certain people in her life that she's aware does this uh, so that's the reason why we're starting with the black one but you can start with the green with the red depending on what it is that you're using this for ideally make sure to integrate always red with any other colors red is very protective and it is specifically for protection so just an fyi all right, so once we're done with that, what we're going to do now is we are going to be getting the petitions and you're going to be getting these uh, tabs. And what we're doing is basically you're going to prick them into the garlic, as you can see. And like I said, um, these are... Of course we want protection, of course we want, you know, to protect ourselves and to protect everyone in our home, but it is also always very important to make sure not only to banish negativity, but to call in positive energy, to call in abundance, to call in success, to call in health. For those of you guys that are having issues with health, this is ideal. Um, It's about transmutation, transmutation or the transfer and change of energy. And that's exactly what we're doing. Okay. All right. So once we have that, what we're gonna do now is basically we are going to go around with the ribbon Okay, give me one second. Okay. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but what we're doing here is basically tying the knots. All right. So it's going to look something like this, okay? Now, we're going to be using some of the green as well.
So then now I'm just going to go around it. going to look something like this and finally we're going to use the we're going to use the red so we're going to be using the red and we're going to do the same we're going to do a knot at the bottom Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to go around And this is what it's going to look like, okay? Now, we're going to get the paper clip, not the paper clip, sorry, the safety pin. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to pass it like this, okay, and it's ready, okay? So once that is done, what we're going to do now is, let me move this a little bit. So like I said, with the holy water and with the holy water and with the uh, Florida water, it's a mixture as well as my others, uh, other ritualized waters that I use specifically for this, I'm going to spray it, okay? All right. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate. Since I'm going to ask you to be present here now in the cleansing and the restoration for my clients. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to light... do is we're going to light the cigar and what you're going to do is you're going to pass the smoke all over um, all over the garlic
okay all right so once it's done it's gonna look like this what we're gonna do now is we're gonna leave it overnight by the candle of the saint that you're working with or if you don't have a candle that is specifically to a saint that you're working with you can always light a yellow green or white candle and what you're going to do is you're going to leave it there overnight so i'm going to leave this overnight with my saint's shot and his candle and i'm going to leave it overnight once um once it has been completed meaning once you're done with this process and you leave it overnight the next day you can immediately start to use it all right so i hope you guys enjoyed i tried to do it as short as possible and as quickly as possible you guys are going to be very surprised um very surprised in regards to the outcome that you get with this um you're going to start to see more progress you're going to start even if in your household there's a tendency of people usually getting sick and stuff like that you will start to notice that all of that starts to dissipate and as time progresses it's like less and less people become ill or sick um and like i said with finances anything that you're basically asking the garlics to do that's exactly what they're going to be rendering you should always change this at the end of the year meaning before you start the next year you have to make sure that you redo this and toss this or burn it out ideally what i tend to do here um, at our home is uh, around the i want to say around the end of december uh, or sometimes we do it a little bit sooner than that uh, depending for you all sometimes um uh, we what we do is basically we toss uh, this or all the ones we have in our home in our cauldron and we burn it so what you're doing is you're releasing that old energy and you're starting fresh the new year so like i said ideally do this once a year um, in the beginning of the year you always want to make sure that you do this either in the beginning or like as an example if you're doing it now just make sure to do it um, to redo it at the beginning of next year. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys and we'll see each other soon. Bye.